Landon and I woke up this morning and we realized it was darker this morning at the same time that we always wake up. And it's making me sad because the summer is starting to come closer to an end. We definitely still have a few weeks of summer, but... I thought it was a dead spider. No, it's food. Our kids. It's a piece of chocolate. I thought it was a dead spider. It is breakfast time and we are trying to decide what to do for breakfast and most kids ask for like cereal, waffles, pancakes, yogurt, you know, stuff like the, like the normal breakfast foods. And Porter is insistent on having Sloppy Joe's for breakfast? Is that what you really want? I want a sandwich. You want a sandwich? I just want Sloppy Joe's, by the way. A sandwich like with this meat? And then he asked for spaghetti. We don't have spaghetti. Can I have some cereal? Oh, some cereal? That's real breakfast food. I mean, we can do this. Do you know what? <gasps> can I make you what my mom made me when I was little? Let me show you something fun, okay? Okay, let me show you what I am going to do, actually. I'm going to freeze the leftover Sloppy Joe meat because Sloppy Joe's, just like, shove that in there. It doesn't fall because it's glass. Sloppy Joe's makes a ton, and to be honest, I'm kind of sick of eating them and I don't want to eat them anymore, but now we have hamburger buns. And this is what my mom always did with leftover hamburger buns, and I always thought it tasted so good. And lay out my hamburger buns. How many of us are there? You might as well just do all of them, huh? I don't want one. You don't want one? Trust me, it's so yummy, it's so yummy. Take some butter and destroy the butter stick. That's a lot of butter. Well, that's a lot of butter, okay. Sometimes when you have like big family and lots of kids that want to eat at the same time and your toaster can only handle like two or four slices at a time, it takes too long. I like doing this because it just makes it a little bit quicker, a little faster, and the hamburger buns are sometimes too fat to put in the toaster. So lather it up with butter and then you take cinnamon and sugar and you sprinkle it all along the tops. Ooh, this looks good now. Oh, now you want some? Yep, lots of cinnamon and sugar. This, I did not say that this was a healthy breakfast. Broil it for like one to two minutes. Oh my goodness, you can smell the melted butter, cinnamon and sugar, and it smells super good, and that is what you have. Super yummy. I am waiting for your approval. Bye. You like it? Lucy, are you in the kitchen? No, she says, uh-uh, did you hear that? Chocolate cake! But look at you! You're a big chocolate mess! My goodness. She does this all the time. I should know not to keep food up here. Even butter. She'll lick the butter and say, mmm, nummy. No, don't. Ah, no. Gross! Oh, 
you swimming? Are you a bird swimming? I don't know what you're saying. That's cool, though. There's no bird. So the kids had the day broken up into phases where phase one, they went to the grocery store, check. Phase two, we had lunch, check. Phase three was to, well, I don't think we can check that off our list. They wanted to go float down the little creek with these. There's like a creek at our park. And it's hailing, it is in July. Can you hear it hit the van? Well, maybe it's not hailing, but those are really big raindrops. You guys are crazy! <laughs> Do you guys see, okay, right here, there's like a white circle. Do you see that? I literally just got this camera back from Geek Squad having the lens fixed. And I can see in the lens right there, there is like a white speckle on the inside of the lens. I am so annoyed. No, I love you. <laughs> they are so cute. I love my kids. Ew, the sewer. I used to do that as a kid. In my neighborhood growing up, instead of having speed bumps to slow down, they had, just a minute, they had ditches. It was just like, it was more like that, and it would fill up with water. And we would play in that all the time. We were always playing that like deep, nasty water. I brought all the kids in here to chat with them and I cannot take any of you seriously with your donuts you're sitting on. <laughs> Did you know mom's had donuts like this before? Why do you think mom would need to sit on a donut? Because when she pushed out every single one of Four you. Four babies. <laughs> Everything kind of hurts down there and so you sit on a donut so it doesn't hurt so bad. They're like, I don't get like, it. What? <laughs> what? Oh, that's kind of weird. So the kids have come with us to see the home that we've been looking at. They've heard us talking about it. They've seen us discussing and thinking things through. We got it. We've chatted a lot with them and they keep asking us, like, you know, are we going to move? And I'm like, honestly, I don't know. Like, we have to figure out financing, um, the inspection that we did in the last video. Yep. There's lots of little things. And, and so I don't want to, like, get the kids' hopes up. And so I'm like, I don't know. But they've been a part of the whole discussions as we've gone. Okay, so we have met. You're smiling right here in the house. I want to tell, I want to tell you the news. <laughs> So we've met with people, we've worked things out, and we are gonna buy the house! those like moves in you. Yeah. <laughs> so there's another thing we want to talk about too. All right, I'm taking these away. They are a distraction to me, but we got to chat about something else here. Yep. Okay, so a hard part about moving, it's fun to have a new house. It's fun to have all of the new stuff and your new house and all that stuff. Which real quick, don't you ever jump on my couch again. That's one time thing. <laughs> the hard part about moving can be like leaving our friends, um, and, and moving to a new school, but we have the option to stay at your same school or to go to a new school. Go to a new school. But what do you guys think? Like, you guys know your school really well. You know the teachers there. You have friends there already. Yeah. Going to a new house in a new neighborhood is already going to have lots of new things. So it might be good to have something that's the same in your life, like the same school. But if you guys want to, it's your choice. It's kind of your choice, but mom will chat with you too. Yeah. Um, we'll go to our same school that we go to. You want to go to the same school that you've been going to? 
You need to go to kindergarten. If, so either way, it's gonna if be he went to the same school that the kids go to, he would be in full day kindergarten. True. If you go to the new school, it's half day kindergarten, which I'm not saying that's good or bad. Another option, homeschool. I mean, I know so many of you are doing homeschool because of COVID and that's what you feel comfortable doing. And that is an option. Like if we needed to, there's an online program as well. That's true. There's lots of different Does options. Does our school that we're at now offer hybrid? Like Yeah, there's like an online, online. Yes, there's an online program or you can do but you couldn't do part at school. No. Um, oh, is that, what, is that what hybrid is? I don't know. Yeah. Like that, thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know. that thing. That thing has scared me like five times. I've walked into the kitchen at 5 30 in the morning. <laughs> Punch it in the face. I almost smacked it one of these days. Um, no, so there's lots of different options for school. Goodness, this is like so hard. <laughs> Still excited about the whole thing. We'll let you make a decision. I know. Real quick with the whole schooling situation, I honestly think that there's no right or wrong answer for anyone with whatever they choose to do this fall because I know things are a little bit different and crazy in the world. And so, like, honestly, whatever choice you decide to go with, go with it and be proud of that choice. Um, and obviously, no judgment for yeah, other people. Just give it your best effort. Make the choice that's good, that's best for your kids. So we'll have to chat about the whole school situation, but yeah. you guys excited to like pack everything up and move it yeah. to a new house? It's time to start packing. We don't yes. have very long until it's time to move. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so when we toured the house, when we were getting into the car, you were crying and you were sad mm -hmm. and you were downstairs on your bed crying and you said, I don't want to move. No. Was that just kind of like mm -hmm. a feeling that you had in the moment? Mm -hmm. Why, yeah. would, why wouldn't you want to move? You're sad to leave your friends, maybe, mm -hmm. that are in this neighborhood. And we won't move very far. We'll still stay friends with our friends. But it's a little different, isn't it? Well, I'm excited. I think it'll be good adventure. Start fresh. Yeah, I think it'll be fun. Let's get to work. Yes! We're moving! Ah, a shoe! Oh, no. <laughs> Well, this may have been a big fail. Will you help him find his shoe? Cooper, you gotta grab it! I don't actually need my shoe. Okay, do you wanna get in the river now? Okay. No! I'm not doing it! Well, if the inner tubes do not work and those were a fail, we are going to try Emma's little boat that she made. Um, I don't think it's meant to... All right, maybe the boat was a fail too. Get it, Mama! You're doing it! <laughs> You're doing it! Go, 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 go! Yeah! Yeah, for me! Yeah! This was nasty! All right, well, I think we've had enough craziness going on here you guys thank you so much for watching continue watching subscribe if you have not already and watch us as we pack up our house and move